I liked it. I think it was well made. Um, I was surprised to find out that it wasn't uh, actually made in Kentucky. Um, I thought the price point was spot on uh, for what the manufacturer suggested retail price. Um, I would definitely buy it. I would uh, pour it for friends. I think it had some really nice flavors to it. I think also that it opened really well with water, but I would definitely drink it neat. It was my favorite of the night. I thought the big house uh, had really nice mouthfeel. It, uh, it uh, had great taste. It, it, um, it did everything it needed to do and a good bourbon. So it was uh, not something that I would put on the top shelf, but I'd have it around uh, regularly for friends and for myself to enjoy. I really enjoyed it. I thought it had a good overall profile. Um, it was very, definitely very easy to drink. It had a good overall flavor to it. Um, nothing seemed to be very overpowering and it, um, it definitely had a good balanced profile. It didn't have a um, overpowering taste. It was very um, just drinkable overall. Uh, the Big House Bourbon we actually thought was really well-rounded. It got really great reviews all around. Um, I really liked the fact of how complex it was. Everything else I thought was a little bit of a one-note pony. And the Big House Bourbon, you know, really changed. You put a drop of water in it, boom, you got a whole new product. You put an ice cube in it, you got a whole new product. It really kept surprising the palate.